Hello, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Dinner Craft. We are currently at Butter Jaffa's enchanting room off of his ender, ender, men, ending. The thing that lets you kill endermen for XP, okay? And we are here because I have needed to do some leveling so that I could do some enchanting. I have in my possession now, I guess I can put this back on. Well, I have in my possession now an iron ax that I've enchanted with efficiency four and I'm breaking three. And then I have also gotten a book that has silk touch. Why have I done this? Because my other ax has fortune and I need a silk touch ax to create our shop in the shopping district. So I think I mentioned last episode that we were gonna create a shop this episode. Bing! And I know exactly what I want to do. Well, I kinda, I worked it out in a test world, right? And it's a really sweet idea and I am looking forward to making it reality. But first we need to get out of here. This run back to the portal is kinda scary, not gonna lie. What? What the? What? What? Sometimes it's best just to not ask questions on the dinner craft server. Home sweet home. There are a couple things going on here. I placed an order at Chex's Helping Hand Shop for a new skin, specifically for a Halloween costume because I didn't have one planned. And he's running a special apparently where instead of two diamond blocks per a skin, it's one diamond block right now. So he gave me one back. Thank you very much, check. I do have the skin, but it's still pretty early in October, so I think I'm gonna wait to put it on until later in the season. Shop at Sevco. This has to be a Severitas thing. Very good marketing, Sev, but I am gonna try to clear this up. We are definitely gonna go check out Sevco, and actually there is a lot of stuff happening in the shopping district right now. And that's okay because today's plans are going to be taking us to the shopping district. So fun fact, mushrooms can become ah, <laughs> giant mushrooms on a mushroom island at any light level. So unlike in any other biome where you need a light level of I think 12 or less to grow a giant mushroom with bone meal. If you're on a mushroom island, it can be middle of the day, don't need to cover anything, it's fine. Efficiency 4 just tears right through this. I think it's instant. This is good, it shouldn't take us too long to collect what we need. And then we can head on over to the shopping district, see what's going on over there, which appears to be quite a bit, and get to work on building this thing. Wait, I saw something I needed. Buckets, 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 buckets. Oh, there it is. Bucket, water. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You guys keep trying to kill me. Ooh. Ha ha ha! Bucket of pufferfish. Ooh, there's another one that's good. Let's grab you two, just in case something happens to the, <laughs> the first one. Now where were we? Ah yes, still trying to get enough stems. Hey! Hey, dolphin, that's my stuff! Here we are at the spot I've picked out in the shopping district. It is right next to the big government building, so nice and visible. And best of all, it still has the mycelium on it. A lot of the shopping district is being redone in grass, as you can see, and it looks good, but my particular project looks best with the mycelium around it. And from what I have so far, I'm guessing you guys could figure out what I'm going for. This is the base of a giant mushroom that we are gonna be selling our potions out of. And the design is really cute. We've got the base on it here now. It's not perfectly circular. It's very much an organic shape, and I kind of built it onto the side of this little hill here. So it's, it's got some um, character, I guess you could say to it, but we're getting close to done. I am going to put the windows in next. Where did I put my glass? And window here, boop, boop, boop. And a window up front here. Yeah, there's, <laughs> There's some dirt and stuff inside. Working with mushroom stems, as you can see, they're they're kind of interesting because when you put a mushroom block down, it's got that stem texture on all six sides, but when it touches another mushroom block and then you break it, 
it leaves this kind of exposed pore look, which I'm really liking for the windows, but I didn't really want it anywhere else in here. So I was using dirt as kind of my scaffolding to be able to put, because you can put a dirt block next to a mushroom block. Well, anything that's not a mushroom block, really. And then when you break it, the, the texture is still the same. It hasn't changed over to the spore look but we've got some work to do in here still but we are making pretty good progress and I will bring you guys back when I have more to show okay we're getting really close to done now just some finishing touches to do here fire cauldron mood lighting aquarium glass it will all make sense like so and then like so. And I feel like every potion shop should have a puffer fish, right? It's on theme. There he goes. Ah! <laughs> Working as intended. Ta-da! It's pretty much done. Oh, I'm really loving how it how it looks. It looks so cool. Right away, uh, you can see that I have the window facing the plaza here so that people walking by will see the stuff in the window and get intrigued. I have the cauldron on the one side and the potion brewer on the other, which should hopefully make it pretty obvious to people what the shop is selling. Gotta put the stairs in here going up to my little pathway, but this is the shop from the front. Got the nether wart growing in the window there. Super cool potions and then no shoes no shirt no service because come on people don't be gross this is a public space come fully clothed all right inside it's very cozy and tight i've got a lot of potion paraphernalia stuff hanging around on the wall i've got my elder guardian head up there because i thought that looked appropriately creepy for this shop i'm kind of trying to give that like mm, weird curios kind of sketchy sort of vibe in here and I think I achieved it pretty well. The potions are all up in these barrels. I do have dye that I can put on these signs to make them white but it occurred to me that I don't actually know how much I'm gonna be selling them for. I need to do some research and talk to some people and figure out exactly how much potions like this should cost because I just don't know. But they're all nice and labeled there if I do get more potions in, I'll probably replace this table at the bottom with more barrels and then I can sell up to eight different kinds. I don't know if I'd ever need more than eight different kinds. Like, I don't know if there are eight useful potions that people would actually buy, but there is a little bit of room for expansion in here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a cute little kind of creepy Halloween vibes going on up in here. Oh, and that reminds me, I need to get my pumpkins because here they are we're all supposed to be decorating the shopping district for halloween and i thought the shop itself is pretty appropriately halloweeny but i did bring some jack-o-lanterns as well to sort of spice things up a little i guess um where do i want to put the other one maybe up here yeah i think that works and then i'll put one down here by my entryway there <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this build. I sure enjoyed making it. This was a lot of fun. And now I think it is time to tour what else is going on in the shopping district because as you can see, stuff is definitely happening. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to pay big gov for the space that our shop is built on. And I believe that these days we're doing that inside the town hall, which is looking amazing. I think I did show this on a previous video. Okay, there's some signs over here, political writings. Oh, this is who's in charge of, or who is on each writing. I'm located off the west side of the shopping district, Nether Hub portal. So that's me, Chive, Seven, Dan, so we're considered west writing. I think there's like one head for each writing or something. I think that's how this is working. I'm not entirely certain, but that's not what, oh, there's more signs over here. Oh, here we go. Tax deposit station. Please follow directions. Okay. Please rename the diamond block to the name of the shop it's for. Per shop, one diamond block, any land requisition more than 400. We don't need to worry about that. Our shop is actually quite small. So I think I can probably use this and I've got my diamond block. And the shop is called... Potions. Uh... Oh, that happened so fast. <laughs> Goodbye, diamond block. Jeez, we better make at least nine diamonds from the shop, huh? Okay, now that that is out of the way and Big Brother will not be looming over our shoulder, 
let's have some fun and take a look at what is going on in the shopping district. Well, for starters, Alito's food truck has moved over to the plaza here, and he's got it decorated for Halloween. Super cool and spooky. <laughs> this over here is a redstone shop that B has been working on. I don't think it's ready, though. I think there's still a sign out front. Yes, opening soon. So there's some chests and stuff in here, but I'm not going to... Like, look in and peek because it's not officially open yet, but the outside is looking super cool. I'm really impressed with it. That cart cracks me up. I think this is Alito's pop-up Halloween shop, which was featured in his latest video. Oh, that is cool. That's a neat face. Ha! There's another skeleton horse in here, too. Wow. That's a lot of heads up there. Okay. Is there signage? Dookie! Hmm... Oh, there is stuff in all of these. But there's no pricing, or is that... Okay, the pricing is in the center there. Aha, all Halloween masks, two diamonds. Clever. Where did he even get these from? Like, where did these heads come from? They must be part of a... Oh, he changed his own head to all of these different mobs that he could get them in the game as heads. That was very clever, actually. Think of how many times he must have had to kill himself with how many different skins to get all of these. <laughs> And then a lot of the existing shops have been kind of redecorated for Halloween as well. So the Helping Hand shop has a little flaming skull thing going on. Jeez, Gabibo's Garden Shop is all netherite or nether warty, like infected looking. What's this over here? This is the Lenore statue. Cobwebs. Oh, there's a giant spider over top of... This is Balance's tree log shop and i'm not sure if i've shown this on camera before but he's one of the newer members to the server and i think that stock in the entrance is up here in front yes oh he's even got a special going on but yeah you can come down here and buy wood which is great we've kind of needed a wood shop on the server doesn't look like he has everything in stock but whoa <laughs> but having access to all this wood is so nice this is another new thing over here, and I can't remember who did this. Pelipper's Post Office. Job board. Write in the book what you need and place reward in the box. Okay, flip the switch to show there's a job. Oh, okay. That's clever. That's clever. Job board slash... Uh, here, here's everyone's mailboxes, I'm guessing, where we can deliver mail for each other. That's good to have that all in one spot. I haven't put my own head here. I haven't actually died since we got player heads in so I don't have my own head yet announcing that on YouTube is kind of like asking people to come kill me so I'm having regrets I believe this is Dan the man's music shop over here and it's <laughs> styled like a giant note block that's cool yep he's got note blocks over here and then music discs over here not a big selection yet, but that's cool. And then this beautiful build over here. This is Butter Jaffa's mini game that he's going to be running for Halloween. It's kind of a, a Zelda themed. And I've never played the Zelda games, but he's got it all explained in his video on how it works. It's actually kind of complicated, so I'm not going to re-go over all of the rules in my video. You'll have to watch his video if you want the whole shebang. But it looks really cool, and I definitely want to enter for a chance to... To pull the master sword out of this rock here. Yeah, nine pages. Whee! Back over here we have another chives shop. As if the, the theme isn't obvious. Oh man. Oh man, we have some intruders on the bridge. Get them! No, 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 no. I'll save you, shop. Okay, and this is all slime, I think. <laughs> it is. It's all filled with slime and you move really slowly trying to get to the stock one diamond per stack so that is a lot of slime let me out let me out let me out let me out oh yeah i forgot that uh i think check has been working on this or maybe balanced but like a little reef here underneath the shopping district that's really cool and let's not forget sevco these little shop at Sevco things are all over the shopping district, all over my base, and I have to give Severitas credit for her marketing campaign and her decorating skills because the shop does look really cool. Welcome to Sevco, shop at Sevco. 
It really is styled like a department store. There's just a little bit of everything in here. I like the banner. She's got a lot of different blocks and stuff for sale. What are these? Armor stand books? Oh, that's right. That's cool. What? What is this? This... Hey, Azuma. This glorious view was <laughs> presented to you by Sefco. I can dig it. And over here, it looks like we have heads hanging from chains on the ceiling. I'm not sure if this is a Halloween thing or if this is just a Sefco thing. Kind of creepy, not going to lie. But that is the completed tour of the shopping district. It is looking fantastic. Really getting me in the mood for Halloween. There's just a lot of stuff going on right now. Yeah, it's just a good time to be a diner. But that is going to be it for today. Thank you so very much for watching this episode of Dinnercraft. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like rating down below and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye for now.